Hi, everyone. Hard to believe this, but a Middle Tennessee man actually says he's blessed after a wreck that literally broke his truck in two. Today, he was able to say thank you to the people who helped to save his life. News Channel 5's John Cole Newland was there for the reunion and has his story from Warren County, all new at 6.30. I remember hitting that. William Cleghorn backwards. is thankful. But I don't remember nothing after that. As he revisits the scene where his life flashed before his eyes, I was teetering or something, and then it just he believes he was protected. And everybody's like, You're lucky, and no, I'm not. I'm blessed. William was traveling down Bluff Springs Road in his pickup truck Sunday morning. The pavement was wet. As he approached this bridge, he lost control of his truck. I remember seeing myself go down. I don't remember flipping. I don't know how many times I flipped. His truck fell 30 feet to the creek bed below. The impact split it in two. I was on the bank upside down and the bed was over in the creek. In pain but conscious, William remembers the first face he saw in that dark moment. His 13-year-old stepson, Ethan. I owe my life to, to my son. I really honestly do. Ethan and his mom were the first on the scene. He didn't hesitate to slide down the embankment to get to his dad. I was just hoping that he was alive and I wanted to get down there to see what had happened. William was pinned inside the truck. EMT Jason Martin had to cut him out of it. Against the roof of the truck, he had a floor jack pinned in his hand down and the steering wheel was holding the floor jack. This is their first time meeting since that day. So there's people like you that put their life on the line every day. William has a new lease on life. You don't know, son, I owe my life to you. And a stronger bond between father and son. Nobody else would have done that. They would have hesitated. In more than a decade, first responders said this was one of just a few instances where a vehicle went down the embankment here off of Bluff Springs Road. But William and his family hope that it's enough that county officials consider putting up a guardrail. In Warren County, I'm John Quill Newland, News Channel 5. William had six screws and a plate put in his arm, as well as several stitches in his head. His recovery will be long, but he's thankful to be alive.